It amazes me today how the gospel has changed. And people say, oh, no, we're just new covenant believers. And But when you listen to the apostle who wrote half of the New Testament, when you listen to the apostle Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, when you listen to the apostle Paul, the guy who wrote most of the scriptures from which we get the theology of grace, you'll find that what is often preached today as new covenant has nothing to do with the covenant at all. Now, I want to take you back to Paul's preaching. In our text today in Acts 24, verses 24 to 25, Paul is brought in before Felix. A few days later, Felix came back with his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish. Sending for Paul, they listened to him as he told them about faith in Jesus Christ. Now, this is about faith in Jesus Christ. He reasoned with them, verse 25, about righteousness, self-control, and coming judgment. Now, when Paul was teaching about faith in Christ, when Paul was teaching about salvation by faith, he taught about righteousness. He taught about right living. He taught about self-control. He taught about coming judgment, that there is a judgment for sin, that, that there is a God who is judge of all the earth, that there is a God who must, who is just and must judge sin. That the God of grace, yes, but he's also a God of justice. Now, Paul took these three things, righteousness, self-control, and the coming judgment. And for Paul, that was part of the good news. That was part of the gospel that Paul taught. That was part of Paul's teaching about salvation by faith in Christ Jesus. So my friends, when you, you hear people and they want to take righteousness, right living, and they want to take that out of the gospel, and they want to take the doctrine of self-control out of the gospel, and they want to take the doctrines of judgment that God will judge that God is a God of justice and he must judge sin and they want to take that out of the gospel and they want to make the gospel simply, Jesus loves you. And you know what? I agree, Jesus loves you. But there's a lot more to the gospel than just the love of God. And maybe that's why we're not seeing the quality of salvation that we should be seeing. Maybe that's why we have so many who are like seeds sown along the stony path that so quickly fall away, that so quickly leave the faith. We need to get back to preaching the gospel the way they did it in the New Testament.